Hey everybody, Scott Oden coming to you. In this video, we're gonna be talking through a 3D analysis of an amateur swing and how we relate it to video to make some changes in how the club approaches. Scott Hogan coming to you here. Today we're going to use some 3D technology to analyze a pro, um, you know, a swing that I see very common, and that's your kind of classic over-the-top swing. You know, it's a good-looking swing, but we don't get the results we necessarily would like because we are um, we're missing just a couple of real key elements in support from our body to make the club move how we want. So we're going to play the swing through. So you can see we're using 4D motion on the left. And we've got the swing pulled up on the right with video. So we bring it back. We're going to see this golf club come down. And it's kind of your classic, you know, again, it's a good looking swing, but it gets a little bit over the top. And we have some issues with contact. So here's what it looks like in the 3D world. So I'm going to play it. You're going to see that blue line is the swing back. And the red line is the swing on the way down. Okay, so you're going to see. Let me play that a little fast, a little slower because that's a little... Fast, so you can see it comes down over and again when we look at the swing we don't necessarily see it that over the top but that's what 3d can show us because of cameras can play tricks they have you know different angles things like that that can really make things look distorted so what's that one thing that I see when I we look at 3d that pros can that pros are really good ball strikers do to hit the ball from the inside to have a draw where you can move the club where it's a little more shallow as opposed to going over the top. Well, we've pulled up a graph and you can see on our chart here, we've got a blue line going through and that's our side bend. Okay, we're measuring the chest. We're measuring a couple of other things, but we're really looking at the chest here. So as we go, we're talking about side bend from the standpoint of bending left and right. So in our golf swing, that would be at this point, you know, how much are we tilting to the side towards the ball? And then when we go back, towards the ball, how much do we switch and bend to the right side, okay? And again, this is going to be one that I see a lot of amateurs struggle with, so we want to see how much we bend to the right now towards the golf ball. So we're going to look at the student. As you look at the graph, you're going to see we're going to play it along. Um, if you see the, the graph go down below the center line, that's left. Okay, if you see um, it go up, that's to the right, okay? That's right, all right? So we're going to try to help you out here, okay? So up to the right. So as we look at this swing, he's going to go back. You're going to see he's starting to bend to the left because he's turning his shoulders around his spine. And, as that, and since we're bent over towards the golf ball, that means our left shoulder is going to be bent over. You can see, as he starts to get towards the top, you're going to see him actually start losing some of this bend late in the backswing. That could be because of an overswing. It could be just you know being unaware that you need to keep the shoulder down a little bit more. So we know that we need to work, see a little bit more bend there. And then we'll start down, and we're going to work on getting to bend to the right side but you can see, again, we've got our little tick line that's on the graph. Those are kind of our ranges that we'd like to see in a golf swing. And we can see we come up well short of that. And so let's show you the, the visual of that. So that's right about here is where we're at going into the ball. And you can see our shoulders are pretty level. They're, they're our right shoulder, we would like to see it pointed down a little bit more. That's what we see with you know those ranges in the graph, pointing the right shoulder down a little bit more. And that would, we'll, we'll show you what that effect can have on the golf club, all right? So if we were to work on getting that right shoulder down and getting a little more side bend, here's what we get. So we use the system. We start doing a little bit of biofeedback. So when you use these, this system, you can actually set it to, to practice and make the motion of the swing. And it'll beep if you get to where you want to get to. So... You can see we've now got that right shoulder definitely pointing down where we wanted to. And this young man did a really good job of practicing it. 
And look at the effect that has on the golf club. Look at where this golf club approaches. Well from the inside, getting very, very shallow, which is a very good thing to hit the ball with a draw. But just hit it in general, just hit it solid. That's what we like to see. So now that club is definitely from the inside working its way on through. So again, we'll show you another one as he's practicing it. Back, left shoulders pointed down. We've got some side bend, right shoulder pointed down. Beautiful. And do a swing. So starting to see again, if we look at one thing when I start seeing 3D, what do most amateurs struggle with that pros or really good ball strikers that hit it solid? It's this idea of side bend. And namely, when you transition from the back swing to the down swing, there's a rapid change from your bending to the left to your side bending to the right. That's a, that's a big deal as you're going through to hit shots. So start thinking about your side bend. If you want to come on in and get it checked out, you know, best way is get on some 3D and you'll be surprised at what you, the feel versus the real. But uh, a way to start getting the ball to travel a little bit better and start analyze, analyzing some swings is, is to do that and get some side bend in your swing from not only the way back, but mainly on the way down. If you can add some of that right bend, typically I see that club going a little less over the top as you go. So if that's something you're struggling with, give it a try and see how it helps you.